right, so I've already been to town, did a pickup, and I had this. Oh, yeah, and I forgot there's a barbecue way over there, if you can see it over there, guys. And there was a bunch of small stuff that I threw off over there, too. But I'm not going over there right now. So I got all this stuff here. We're going to load some of this loose small stuff because I loaded all of the uh, aluminum uh, ladders. I had to cut all the steel off them, my uh, saws all, and then I have some more down underneath. So this whole side on this side is pretty much uh, aluminum. And we got some more aluminum there, and we got a freezer on there, which has nothing in it. It was already clean before I even got it, guys, so there was nothing in it. Somebody else took the copper, took the compressor out of it. All they left me was just the shell, which is fine. It doesn't matter. It's still, you know, scrap. So I'm going to fill this side here on this side here where the vacuum and all that is. I'm going to finish rolling all this small stuff here in just to get rid of it. I got to get it cleaned up, guys, because winter is coming. I'm going to have to get a trailer load and take the big stuff. I did have that stuff on the trailer, but I had to unload it because I need the trailer. So that's what happens, right? And I didn't have time to do it, so trailer now, so it's empty. But I do have big stuff I have to go pick up, so yeah. And like I said, I picked up this stuff this morning. I still got another pick to do this afternoon. I forgot to show you guys before I unloaded it. Yeah, so it's a newer uh, washer. They said something was wrong with it, but I'm like, yeah, I don't fix them. So it's one of those newfangled ones. Yeah, one of the newfangles. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't ask me what's wrong with it. I have no idea. I don't fix them. I just scrapped them. That's it. Lucky I didn't kick it off the truck. As you can see, it's not really banged up too bad. Just where I dropped it right there. And then, of course, when I rubbed it when it was laying on the back of the truck. Because I don't really care. It's just scrap. So, because the people were moving today. So, I don't know if these were any good. I think they said something was wrong with the fridge. It worked, but it wasn't working the best. I don't know. I don't care. I'm doing with me. I ain't keeping it. It's going to get the guy to come. And, uh take the stuff out of it as you can see it's still got the back on it so that one does have the stuff in it and we're going to load this stuff here we're going to make a load so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to finish this off with this stuff on make sure the freezer's full and then i'm going to head uh, at first i gotta go make my mom lunch i've been outside i've been to town i still gotta go to town again because i got another load of stuff to pick up this afternoon after i get back from napanee so yeah I will try to remember to tell you what I got at the end of the day when I show you the other load when I pick it up. Well, if I remember, guys, sometimes I just get preoccupied and stuff, and I've got my ride along inside with me. So she's getting hot. She's been in the truck because it's just mom and I home. So, but I'll get this loaded. Pretty much just got to cut the cord off of this, which I have a pair of wire cutters with me right now to cut off the cord off the uh, vacuum cleaner. I don't take the motor in. I couldn't be bothered. Right in the shred. Right in the shred. She's whining. She's whining at me. My puppy is. All right, so second load, guys. We got an air conditioner and a fireplace and a whole lot of other stuff on here. There's even some copper up in the corner there. And then, of course, I had some fencing I had to pick up for someone. I got that off the side of the road, that exercise bike. So I picked it up, obviously, because it's heavy. Um, but there was some more uh, fence posts. I threw them over here. So, yeah. Whew, not a bad little day so far, guys. Uh, I could probably go back to town and get one more load yet, to be absolutely honest. But you know what? I'm done. I've been to town. I've been to the city of Kingston twice today. I've been to Napanee once. I'm done. I'm done. You stick fork in me. I'm done. I got to go and make supper yet for my mom. So, yeah, I'm heading to do that. I'm going to load this tomorrow. And I'm going to clean that air conditioner and all that stuff tomorrow. I've still got my ride along. I'll show you guys my ride along. My ride along. There's my ride along. She's been riding along with mommy all day, haven't you, baby? Yeah. It's time to go in, isn't it? Yeah. It's been a long day, hasn't it? We've been going since early this morning, haven't we, baby? Yeah. Since mom after her, I deal with my mom in the morning with her stuff. Then we got on the road. We started going and going, didn't we, baby? Yeah. You're such a cutie pie. That's my little cutie pie. Yeah. All right, copper. All right, baby. I guess that's it. Um, we're going to call it. Oh, no, I didn't tell you guys what I got for the load. The load I took in Apnee was $146. So that wasn't too bad for extrusion, low copper, and the shred I had on. You getting hot, baby? Time to go and get a drink of water. I know, baby. We're going to get a drink of water. Me too. Me thirsty too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>